Starting yet another project. TV is out, sitting on the tempered glass, checking out some, uh, double checking the measurements, sizing things up. Next we'll bring in some lumber. Guess that project. Got the legs all set up and clamped. That's how she's gonna go together. These pockets aren't uh, aren't super uh, straight or real tight. That's actually one of the better ones. Doing them uh, kind of freehand with the edge clipper type tool uh, doesn't make for the tightest, cleanest, but uh, it's actually not bad. That's the best one to show you. The other ones are not as straight. Slather a lot of glue in those suckers and we'll just press them all together. Stick a screw in it to pull it tight and let it set. And then hopefully the TV will still drop in there. Nice and snug and the glass on top. It's coming along. So here she is, pretty well done. Need some stain on that uh, cedar wood there. Would like to have it uh, darkened up. Um, and that's uh, missing still some uh, some black rubber. I'm gonna put on uh, on the rim underneath the glass. There is some animated battle maps. Compliments of uh, YouTube. Currently, that uh, tempered glass surface on there. It's quite thick. If you look from the side there, you can see to be kind of above. So your tokens line up uh, with the grid a little better. Um, but yeah, I like that uh, glass surface. We can spill our drinks or drop whatever we want on there. Protect the uh, the screen. <clears throat> um, that's the first table I've built. Uh, didn't turn out too bad. I have a lot of tools, so that uh, that uh, helped me um, immensely more tool than ability, the saying goes. Um, but uh, yeah, I was able to pocket out those, uh, those posts. As you can see, not the uh, tightest fit. There's uh, a lot of glue in there. But we'll uh, stain right over that and hopefully they'll blend in a little bit better. Good enough for my purposes. Plenty strong. It'll be nice to use that uh, that's gonna replace the kitchen table, I think, actually. Um, we need a new one, I think, anyways. That'll do double time, double duty. <laughs> My gaming table. Kids can watch some cartoons while they eat their cereal. Roll on.
Here we are with the finished uh, table project. Um, pretty well finished except for that stain. We want to stain that uh, that cedar lumber there, the wood to be like the uh, matching cupboards there. So it'll be dark when we're done, but we'll have to wait for warmer weather to take it outside and stain that. Um, I got some tokens up on there some sound effects coming out of the TV. The TV has uh, built-in speakers, I guess, which I did not realize when I bought it, but it's all good, I guess we can use that. Tokens look pretty good on there. I like my stand-up uh, minis, I think, a little better. The wet erase, but uh, these are fun for demonstration purposes, I guess. The, uh, the glass is uh, nice to have. <laughs> makes things spill proof that glass will uh, just lift up this is heavy though there's that uh, I've got a rubber you can see if we get up close kind of a rubber gasket around the edge which is covering the the uh, frame of the TV so when it's turned off you don't uh, tend to notice that it's a TV in there as much, which is, which is kind of nice. Um, underneath, let's just kind of climb underneath here. I don't know if we can see. I uh, wired up a power bar. Just ran the extension cord along there, down the leg, and over to the outlet. This wire here is a little loose. And, uh, should tie that up maybe. But I like that added power bar. That's gonna be handy for laptops or whatever. And there's the, it's hard to tell maybe. There's straps. It's uh, three cargo straps holding that TV up in tight to the glass. Um, so they're, uh, they're adjustable, so I can swap out TVs if I have to, if this one burns out. I have to get it the same size, of course, but um, yeah, that's the idea there. Not too bad. The added bonus, which I had not considered, uh, I still got all that water on there. Um, the added bonus I had not considered is we've been playing with one inch um, grid maps and often we find when we want especially for GURPS when we get uh, in close combat you technically have two tokens uh, in the same hex or the same square and when you're just using one inch grid it's pretty hard to uh, to do that you end up with kind of some some awkward like overlay stuff and it looks like Maybe it gets a little messy. So with these digital maps, you can easily um, live cast them from your phone or your device and zoom in, zoom out, just kind of enlarge and make those grids bigger to whatever size you need, which is uh, which is a really nice un unexpected perk. Um, another bonus I have been finding uh, is that I, I've been collecting those um, Loki battle mat uh, books. And I love those things. Uh, and I kind of hate to stop using them in favor of this completely, so I'll certainly take them for mobile uh, game mastering gigs. But I uh, did a test and I took some pictures of the battle mats using my phone uh, and then live cast them to the table. And they show up great, they look great. So kind of the best of both worlds with the table here and the battle mat books. Um, I can use them as books or I can take photos of them and then enlarge them on the uh, table for play. So that'll be fun. I think I'll uh, get some mileage out of those because I really like those uh, Loki battle mat books. They're great. Clean up this here. Water. Uh, I was looking online, a lot of examples, people making um, 
game tables and a lot of uh, folks just lay in the screen uh, without a protective uh, glass and uh, I can see why that glass luckily I got it free out of a, a dumpster from an old uh, apartment building I was uh, living at but um, a glass approximately this size is about $800 Canadian uh, especially with the tint it's got the smoked uh, tint to it it's tempered glass so that uh, that more than doubles the cost of materials right there um, but you do have to be careful I guess with the screen a bit putting your uh, minis and your rolling your dice I don't think you can really you should really roll your dice on a on the bare screen of one of these so that glass is super nice to have not to mention the spill uh, spill resistance is, is super especially with my uh, kind of design here where the the TV takes up the whole table there's no room for your drinks or your snacks uh, for this for my table we'll have everything right on the right on the map um, some of the designs I see people doing they've got a smaller uh, uh, screen kind of in the middle of the table and then they can uh, put their snacks and drinks around <laughs> there's enough space um, so that's a, a nice uh, money-saving method but uh, I think it's um, if you have the means I think going with the uh, glass is definitely the way to go So um, here's what I typically just kind of throw on, <laughs> throw on the, it's, this is now our kitchen table. Uh, so it's uh, kind of fun for the kids, for the whole family uh, while we're eating. I typically just throw on something like this, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the aquarium live feed or um, the International Space Station view of uh, Earth playing there for a while or educational stuff. I like to put a map of the globe on sometimes. So it's uh, not just for the nerds, I guess. It's uh, the whole family's been having fun with it as we sit and watch, uh, <laughs> sit and watch something while we're eating food or whatever. But anyways, that's how she turned out. I'm uh, pretty uh, Pretty pleased with uh, how uh, how well it turned out. Actually, it's a fun little experiment. Um, looking forward to hosting Nerd Weekend here this year. So we'll get uh, maybe I'll get some live footage this time of our game sessions, and uh, we'll probably be using the table uh, mostly, not completely, uh, not for everything, but um, for much of it. And uh, I might end up making one of these. <laughs> Making another one and uh, selling it to uh, selling it to a friend who's uh, not a role-playing friend, uh, oddly enough, who just thinks uh, it'd be cool to have in a, one of their rooms. Uh, it's not going to be his kitchen table. I think he wants it in a in a den or a game room or something. But I don't have to price this out. And see, maybe even maybe I'll make a buck for my time. Anyway, so that's how she turned out. Looking forward to rolling some dice on that, baby. Roll on.